Well, God bless you. Here we are one more time. Hallelujah. Five at 10. God bless you this morning. Listen, I, we just need to continue to just press into the things of God. Man, God is good. And, and in the coming weeks, I'm going to talk about the goodness of God and who he is. Praise God. And I'm telling you, we, are, we need to be excited. I know there's a lot of stuff going on today, but God is big and he is on the move. Praise God. You need to rejoice and be glad in him today. Amen. Listen, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we talked about last week. Not forgotten and not forsaken. We talked about that. You, Whatever your circumstance, wherever you're at, God has not forgotten you and he has not forsaken you. But I want to talk about in perilous times. Because we are living in perilous times. We're in the last days. We're living in perilous times. The Bible talks about that. So I'm going to read some scripture verses to you about the last days. But I want you to understand, even in the last days, no matter what the perilous times we're dealing with, we are not forgotten and we are not forsaken. We are not forgotten and we are not forsaken, even in perilous times. Amen. God bless you. Well, hey, here we go. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good. In the last days, we know that perilous times will come. Now, so what does that word perilous mean? Now, bear with me. This might be a little bit harsh for a minute, but God, remember that. Perilous means savage, harsh, harsh, dangerous, painful, hard to deal with, and grievous. We're dealing with all those things right now. We're living in perilous times because I believe we're in the last days. Amen? Now, that doesn't mean because we're dealing and living in perilous times that God has forsaken us. No, let me read something else to you about the last days. I believe that right now, if you are focused on what God is doing and not what the enemy is doing in this distraction, man, God is moving in a mighty way. This is what it says in Acts chapter 2, verse 16 through 18. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God. Now remember, we just said in the last days will be perilous times. But this is the last days as well. In the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. He's going to pour out of his spirit. Where is his spirit? The spirit of God is within you. He's going to pour out of you into all mankind. Praise God. This is happening right now in the last days. That should be exciting. You're a child of God. The Spirit of God is in you. He's going to pour out of your spirit into many, mankind. Praise God. What a day to be alive. Amen. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. That means speak. Prophesy. They're going to speak the word of God. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men dream dreams. In verse 18, and on my men's servant and on my maid servants, I will pour out of my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy. So listen, God is moving. In, it's right there in the last days. We said, yes, there's perilous times. And we're, we're watching it unfold right before our very eyes. We're seeing all of these things that it talked about in 2 Timothy chapter 3. Unforgiving, slanderers. I mean, evil. It seems like evil is everywhere. But God is on the move. In the last days, he is pouring out of his spirit, man. He is using us. If you're willing and allow him to move through you, man, God's doing mighty things today. Amen. Does that sound to you like God is forsaking anyone, even in perilous times? He's not forgotten us. He's not forsaking us. No, things may not look the way we want them to look. Things may not be the way we want them to be. But God still has a plan, and he, in the last days, is pouring out of his spirit upon all flesh. And that's going to use us to do that. Amen? Hallelujah. That's very exciting to me. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited about that. Amen? Now, I, wanted, I want to encourage you. Quit looking at all those other things, all the perilous times, the, the slanders, the gossip, the evil that's going on. We, we acknowledge that it's there. We know the spirit of the Antichrist is running rampant and people are allowing that in their lives. But we've got to focus on also 
in the last days what God is doing. In perilous times, what is God doing? Man, he's moving in a mighty way. We're blessed. We need to remember and count our blessings. Every day, we need to get up and be thankful to God for what he's given us. No matter what our circumstance, be thankful to him. Because in perilous times, he's pouring out through you into others and onto others. And I'm telling you, you're making an impact in this world. God is on the move. Focus on that. Amen. So, in perilous times, you have not been forgotten and you are, have not been forsaken. Amen. So, get past that. Next week, I'm going to talk to you about four things that's going to help you get past that, that if you're feeling forgotten or forsaken. There's four things I'm going to tell you that will help you get past that, move on from that, and put that down because that is not the truth. You haven't been forgotten. You haven't been forsaken. But God's on the move and he's using you. Amen? I pray that you're encouraged today. God bless you. Continue to walk in faith over fear. We'll see you again next time.